What's up guys, it is Best Friends in the World episode review once again. And today we'll be talking about Olive's one-man protest, Evelyn's failure once again, Davis getting closer to Olive, so on and so forth. But before we proceed, let's acknowledge our sponsor for today, and it is Shakes and Waffles. Located at Tan of so at the adjacent of Amherst University. They have a lot of things here. If you come here, they have crazy strawberry milkshake, crazy chocolate milkshake, crazy Oreo ice cream, shawarma, ice cream in cup, cookie sandwich, vanilla milkshake, and mini pancake. And I promise you, you will never regret it. And not to forget, I am your host, and the name is Sanrita Chawbwatin. But before we go into the review, let's go for a quick commercial break. Welcome back to High School Life and your number one entertainment television show in Ghana and Africa as a whole. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, share and comment as well. And as I said earlier, my name is Samnati Chua I am being your host for today. But before we proceed, let's go start with the headlines with Olive. Olive holding a one-man protest. With Olive doing the protest alone, is she safe for doing it alone? She thinking that she doesn't want to get anybody into trouble. As we all know, Olive, she doesn't want to involve anybody with her things. So she does everything by her own. Olive, what do you think you're doing? Protesting injustice. My friend Pakir Opangoru class. Stop selling answers to students. Profit should be earned, not God. And let's go with Evelyn. Evelyn missing her chance with David again. Evelyn wanted to take the decathlon because she wants to get closer to David but everything backfired when Olive got the proof with her. To find the evidence so quickly, it was either Evelyn was careless or she didn't care, or both. <clears throat> Olive, Miss Nassim is looking for you. Hi, Bestie. Astra. Hmm? Your phone, please. Why? Hold Evelyn back. Hmm? Whoa, what are you doing? Whoa! Always, don't you dare! Don't worry, Evelyn. I won't use this specifically against you. Done. And David, once again, David, everybody's crush. Yes, we all know David. David being a star at a younger age. But now David is getting closer to Olive. Don't you think that Olive will be a perfect match for David? Or David is trying to get closer to Olive because he's feeling something for Olive. Is David falling for Olive? If you think so, drop it in the comment section and we would like to read it out. David, are you with me? Uh, Are you scared to rebel? Scared of a little bad press? Reverse psychology. Clever. You have to do what I tell you. Whatever you need. And Adam trying to be close to Olive again. Adam has tried everything to get closer to Olive, but it is not working. And he giving up with Olive by backing her through the protest. You think it was a good idea for Olive to just suck Adam from the place or Adam backing up? I think Adam should have backed Olive a bit, but you, who knows what will happen. Olive, what are you? Trophies should be earned, not bought! Olive. Every student deserves equal chance. Either join me, watch me, or don't distract me. How can I join you what I don't understand? Stop corrupting our schools! Okay. 
Then let's go to Esther and Archie. Esther and Archie are my best couple for best friends in the world because no matter what, Archie supports Esther in everything. He doesn't see the beauty inside only but he see the beauty inside and outside too he doesn't care about what people will talk about esther whatever the sisters will talk about even margaret showing up at felix lounge talking about esther i actually didn't give anything to it but he just go on complimenting esther and giving praises to esther once again mm -hmm. archie margaret what are you doing here Mm -hmm. This is Steve. We are going out tonight, but now we just wanted to get drinks. Hi, Margaret. Esther, how have you been? Um, fine. Um... Where are you going? Home. I have to do that thing I told you. What? I really have to get going. Why should you leave? I mean, we came here before then. I'll explain later. <clears throat> I have to go now. I would really love to stay and chat, but... Anyway, and with Maria, Maria is supporting Oliver the protest. Don't you think that it will affect Maria's scholarship or Maria's mom, Mrs. Marshall, losing her job at the Armstrong's house? I think it was a good idea for Maria to stand for justice, but I think she should have think twice doing that because it might because she might lose her scholarship at the long run. Mommy, what did they say? Maria. Yes, Mommy. Don't you like our life as it is? Why would you go and do something to upset my employer? The woman who is putting food on our table and allowing you to attend our school. Mommy, there have been no fair. No? Let others do the protest or whatever. Do you have to jeopardize your future to prove a point? Mommy, I'm not jeopardizing. Maria! Go to class now and let me not hear of this foolishness again. So let's go with Kevin coming back to the scene. Kevin coming back to Olive's mom. And what would Olive think about? What would Olive do when she finds out about Kevin with his mom? With her mom, right? Sorry. And Mr. Gibson being sacked from the school. LHS was under corruption due to Mr. Gibson's cruel behavior. Mr. Gibson was taking bribes and a whole lot from people to get the awards a good and better grade. But sick of Olive, Mr. Gibson had been sacked from the school and Mrs. Armstrong has to go back and bring Miss Anna because with LHS success, all goes to Mrs. Anna. I have reinstated Principal James who we all know has so far done a stellar job in moving Lighthouse Secondary in the right direction. I have no doubt that she will do what is best for us all. Make sure you don't paint yourself as an angel here. I wouldn't dare, Dr. Armstrong. And let's go back to Esther, finding, up, finding out about A. Armstrong, that is Adam, and Olive's scholarship issue. What would she do if she gets to know about Olive's scholarship issue and Adam being A, I guess? Would she feel that she has been left out by her friends or she has been betrayed? Because I think friends, you don't have to hide anything from each other. You have to be fair and open to each other. So, Really, Robert? This will make me feel better. Yep. I'd rather be home. Relax. I just dance. Just dance? I have work to do tonight and I have to post this weekend. Relax, Mr. A. Augustine. You can write your novel tomorrow. Jeez, Robert. Why don't you just tell everyone that I am A. Augustine? 
I think you're doing a good job all by yourself. Adam. Adam. Oh oh. Guys, I think this is where we will end our episode for today. So what should we expect with the new episode? That is episode 14. Will Esther get annoyed or will she be angry at them again? Will she stop talking to them again? So let's all find out from the next episode. All right, fellas, thank you for being with us and as best friends in the world episode 13. Stay tuned, subscribe to our channel, like, share and comment as well so that you'll be notified by the next season. That is episode 14 again. And we acknowledge our sponsors for today. That is Shakes and Waffles at Tunnels to Adjustment, the Emma State University. Stay tuned and thank you for joining us. Oh yeah, education at its best. With entertainment, campus life, high school news. Only on high school life. <laughs>